In this research review, I'm going to be discussing a paper from the International Journal of Sports Physical Therapy from 2024 that looked at the acute effects of handheld vibration massage, so using one of those massage guns, on posterior shoulder soft tissues. And what they did in the study was they took 15 healthy male subjects with the mean age of 20.5. They measured their shoulder internal rotation range of motion and their external rotation strength before and after the intervention. And then they were divided into two groups, a control group that just rested, and then another group that got the intervention, which was five minutes of massage gun to the infraspinatus muscle. Now, each of these subjects returned back for another session and repeated the same thing, but switched groups. So we kind of had you know a little bit of both on, on, on each of the subjects, which I thought was interesting to see. And what they essentially found was there was an over 11 degree increase in internal rotation range of motion after the massage gun, but not in the control group, and no change in external rotation strength, which was also great. So this has a lot of great infl- implications for me. One, I, I think this is an easy way to improve range of motion in athletes without torquing joints. That's something that's super important to me. I don't wanna just jump in and start mobilizing joints or being aggressive with stretching when we can gain 10 degrees of, of, of internal rotation with just massage gun. I think that's fantastic. Now, we're not sure the duration, but I think this has you know obvious implications of people preparing for activities, whether it be sports or training, whatever it may be. We still don't know the mechanism, right? There's potential biomechanical things with decreasing muscle stiffness, maybe some physiological things with blood flow, neurological with change in tone or even some pain perception, and even just psychosocial where we have increased relaxation. So lots of potential mechanisms that we're not sure of, but regardless, still interesting to see because for me, I think loss of motion is cumulative from these eccentric trauma that we see from a lot of our sporting activities like throwing. Being able to do this, I think will be very helpful. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to share this with your friends. And if you want to learn more, I actually have a free presentation that you can check out on my five keys to the evaluation and treatment of the shoulder. Check out the link in the description or if you're on Instagram, comment shoulder keys and I'll send you more info.